Just into our newsroom, Richmond voters will be able to vote again on the possibility of building a casino in the River City. A judge just making a decision, giving the ballot referendum the green light. Eight News anchor Heather Hope is following this case very closely and joining us now live in studio. Eric, you have that update correct. Well, Judge William Marchant just released his written decision shutting down the Good Lions petition to keep the referendum off the November ballot. The Richmond Lodge of the Good Lions nonprofit recently filed a motion arguing the court order allowing city residents to vote again on the casino is un unconstitutional, but the judge disagreed with that and ruled that the nonprofit was not a bidder for the casino project, so does not have any legal standing. The Good Lions attorney, Chap Peterson, is upset at the judge's decision, saying this doesn't give small casinos like his clients a fair shake. He hopes that th this decision will be reversed. The Good Lions host charitable gaming twice a week at Pops Bingo World in Midlothian and say a casino could gravely damage their business and take away their only source of income. It previously filed motions to block the city from asking voters if they want a casino resort on the south side. The city of Richmond has been pushing for the casino since 2021. Mayor LeVar Stoney says it will bring hundreds of jobs. Peterson says his client hasn't decided yet if they will appeal the judge's decision. 